Hey guys, this is Dave from Build Alpha. I want to hit you guys with another uh, Python tutorial. So I have a text file um, that is es.txt. You can see it is um, comma separated um, and it has a header row. So what we want to do is we want to read this in uh, into a Python pandas data frame. Um, so I have the full code here for you guys, but I'm going to head and walk you through it uh, line by line. So the first thing we need to do is import the pandas library and then we're going to use uh, we created data frame to hold our uh, data from the text file so we're going to use pandas built-in read underscore csv file uh, the first argument is the file and then the second one is the delimiter which is basically what separates the values in your file now if it's a csv file which ours is txt text file uh, you don't have to specify this delimiter, but when it's not a CSV file and you're using, use, using the read CSV function, um, you probably should specify the delimiter. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the uh, first five rows of our data that we read into this data frame. You can see all nice and neat. Uh, the index is what is on the farthest uh, left. So you can see we have an integer index for each row in our uh, data frame. Now, if you go and plot that, uh, let's just plot the close very quickly. The x-axis will assume uh, the, in the index, which in our case is just the bar numbers. Now, what if we want to make the x-axis dates? So in order to do that, um, you can see we have strings uh, that hold our dates, you know, month, day, year. We're going to um, import from the date util library the parser um, object. And in order to make our data frame index, we need to run a little um, vectorized loop here. So let's see. Sorry, having a little trouble doing both. Okay, so what this does is basically reads uh, each one of these dates and turns it into a Python date time object. So now if I show you the top five rows of our um, data frame, you can see the farthest left row is Python date time objects. So now we no longer need our date column because we have set it as an index. We can delete um, our column row. So I'm just going to Go ahead and show you guys this again. So you can see I got rid of the date column, but we kept the far we kept the farthest left index uh, as our Python daytime objects. So now if I were to plot the close, you could see that we have our x-axis is now dates. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you in this video is I want to create a custom column here for range or anything. Um, it's really cool in Python that they, it knows to operate, um, when I write something like this, to operate on the entire uh, list of highs and lows to create an entire list of range values. Um, so after I do this, I'll just show you. You can see now we've added this range column that is the difference between our high and low. And if you watch my other videos, you should know how to do this plotting. Um, if not, please check those out. But I just want to show you that it works. Alright guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching.